hi guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for this coming out here may god bless you all president muhammad wari received shock of life as lamedo sanusi drops bond share over nigerian situation Mohamedou Sanusi II, the SCBN governor and S. Emir of Kano, has chastised politicians for failing to save Nigeria from its current state. Political office holders, according to Sanusi, are to blame for the country's terrible state. He added that Nigerian situations, Nigerian issues, are greater than what the country faced in 2015. According to the cable, Muhammadu Lamado Sanusi II, the former Emir of Kano, the current status of the country is a temerous disaster. The SCBN governor made the remarks on Thursday, August 4th, at the Adult Soul Foundation AAF leadership and the award event in Lagos State. While expressing his concern about the current state of the affairs in the country, the economic expert says that while he thought 2015 was bad, things are now steadily bad. Sanusi said, and if anybody does not understand that we are in a complete mess, we are. We are in, in a deep hole in 2015, and between 2015 and now, we have been digging ourselves into a deeper hole. Sanusi chastised those in charge, claiming they lack a sense of urgency. He urged that the country's existing revenue cannot even save its debt. He bemoaned the fact that there are so many people out there who are capable and ready to do the job, but have been denied the opportunity. He said, you have just said the truth. And some persons there will still calling names for saying the truth. And that is the reason why we are here today. Where are the economic technocrats Buhari inaugurated? Where are they? What are they doing? Or they just inaugurated those people just for inauguration's sake? What are they doing? That is the question. Because every day Nigeria is collapsing, every day by day. Emir Sanusi, you will live long. If what you said is really from your heart, the truth must be coming out from all corners. In fact, God is at work. This is just true talk. You are not crying far out thinking we have forgotten the role you played. My joy is that as it is raining on a a sea okay i can't really get that these are reactions by nigerians nigerians will miss buhari too when he is out of office one of the achievements of this administration is signing the electoral b into law which means votes will count 2023 elections will tell if Nigerians has learned their lessons, vote wisely, choose competent leaders. Which Emir? One of those that put this country in this mess. He was the one that blew the first whistle that jeopardized all Jonathan's efforts. Instead of him to apologize to Jonathan and Nigerians, he is here lamenting being in deep hole in 2015 and deeper hole in 2022 it shall never be well with all of you that conspired in 2014 to chase jonathan out 
Be grateful to God Almighty for the gift of President Muhammad Buhari. These are reactions by Nigerians. What you refuse to accept is that the secret you are blowing trumpet for in the open is nothing but disaster. I don't know what you mean by that. The whole thing started with you. You were paying Fulani militants against Otu Lok with the idea of becoming the next Sudan of Arua. It is you who started all the looting from the CBN. Hmm. Don't mind them. Hypocrites. Who want to exonerate themselves from the whole from the whole the dog. God bless you, my Emir, for saying the truth. Always you will live long. Park where Joe. Are you not part of the problems? When it favored you, you did not talk. How that is against you, you are not talking. Before you comment, you supposed to know the fact about it. Go and find out why he leave his office as a CBN governor. Without doubt, honestly speaking, the present government in Nigeria is totally exhausted of any idea that can move the nation forward. They have failed woefully. Exactly. <laughs> in fact, these people, <laughs> true, true, they have, or can I say they have lost focus? I don't even know. I don't even know the one they are doing right now. I don't even know what they are up to. The, the situation of the country is really bad. But they have nothing to offer. Honestly, they have exhausted all their ideas. Nothing is left. That is the truth. But they keep on telling us that this, their government is the best government so far in the history of this country. <laughs> oh my God, God have mercy on us. The only thing I have to say once again is vote wisely. If you are feeling the pains like I do, vote wisely. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.